What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So the round of where we left off, uh, the British situation is a lot spicier than I imagined. We've got one army fleeing south from Edinburgh who can't uh, take the, down the punishment any longer. And we have one near Dublin who is attacking this British army that has it landed near Dublin. Lots of cavalry, a uh, good chunk of artillery, not much infantry, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. However, we are slightly depleted. So this should be interesting, so let's do it. To wait and allow my army A to replenish and B for reinforcements to arrive. This army could be I'm um, in a bit of a sticky wicket at the moment. But we'll have to wait and see. Be a problem if I, if I was against a large infantry contingent, but I am not. Okay, so... Let's pair my strongest and weakest gun teams together. So both of my batteries are fairly, fairly uniform strength. Pick my weakest regiments to be in the centre where they can support each other better. Same treatment with the guns, although it can be a bit funny when it comes to laying them out. There we go. Deploy infantry on one flank. Good. The European mercenaries. Let's actually have a look at them. They look pretty damn good, actually. Despite their uh, militia-like thumbnail down here. The actual uniforms of the men on the field look pretty cool. Might need to get some more of them. Um, let's deploy our other wing of infantry on the left. Cavalry not too far on the flanks, because I want them to be able to respond to any cavalry charges. Then we've got our howitzers that I'll deploy a bit further, a bit wider than I normally would to help provide maximum uh, artillery support. So the guns are in the town. Allowing our gun crews the opportunity to fire the first salvos. So cavalry is going wide. Just keep dropping some artillery on them for now. You look like you're in an excellent position to gun down that horse artillery team. You not so much. You're better off bombarding this cavalry force. And then we can start to pull this left wing down into the mix and move up our cavalry. There we get a lot of artillery fire on these in these cavalry cavalryman types. Potential opportunity to go and knock out some of these gunners stuck in the town. could provoke action by doing something like this. How it is probably going to be almost exclusively firing round shot, so I might just keep them lobbing shells at the artillery. You guys want to face down the immediate threat of all that cavalry ahead of you. These artillery. Well, this artillery is just fine for shooting down the uh, enemy cavalry, and I think. Yep, run our cuirassiers in, cause some hell either with their general or with some of their foot artillery units. Let's see if we can keep provoking. My line towards my cannons is feeling a bit. Vulnerable, but that's okay. See, that would be great for a quick lime shot. 
Again, I'm still quite... Okay, cavalry charges. Get these lines in position. No need to panic. So that's Light Horse. They are Lancer Guards. So you guys... Actually, no, you better just keep firing at the Lancer Guards. Their cavalry is trying to intercept my cavalry. I'm more than welcome to... Uh, well, I am more than happy to welcome that fight. So let's push our flank down hill. Artillery is still doing some good work against the Demi Cannons. My artillery can provide, like, raking fire across the line. The light horse may try to charge my infantry, but my cuirassiers won't let them make much of that. My men can load up ready. The colonial light, let's get them out on the flank. Oh, they've got some pikes hidden back there. So let's pick one of my howitz teams. Keep dropping shells onto the... Keep dropping shells up onto the... Uh, Pikemen towards the rear. These guys I can't actually get to kill any more of them, so keep engaging the lancers. As fire by rank kicks in to hit the guard infantry. So my mi militia opening fire on the blunderbuss shotgunners. Nope, you're within cast a shot range. You guys chase down their routing unit because there's only artillery back here anyway, so you may as well continue your escapades. Field artillery, focus on that unit, regiment of foot. You guys focus on Swiss pikes. Square. Beware of the spikes because I do see them through these buildings here, so that's why I want to kind of go into the town in this direction. Blunderbuss shotgunners have been seen off. Demi cannons are. Then, well, I'm not going to be able to kill them. the general's bodyguard that's pushing in so sound the general advance and this unit of cavalry can run around the combat that's going on these guys running into combat. Problem is, this, problem is for them, this is exactly the kind of combat that uh, my infantry units love. The 10th get into square. You also get into square. Close range volley was enough to see them off. Knock out the horse, I'll tell you with them. Push up. Let's keep folks firing. Probably all my artillery now onto that pike unit wandering around. No, it's pretty much all of them, I guess. Keep my curiosity after the Lancer Guards. Of course, once they've charged, they will then be 
easy meat for my lancers. I've got the Western European mercenaries. Let's see if you guys can get a volley off into the general's bodyguard. I did. Actually, let's maybe not use quite so many men like that. Instead, let's uh, create more of a conventional line. See, someone's firing a gun. There we go. Keep killing them, Lancer Guardsmen. The rest of this infantry needs to load and fire and pour, pour good gunfire into the pikes. Let's change my foot artillery to chase the general away. Their Lancer Guards, Fusiliers, they're probably a good target. Or we'll charge the Light Horse themselves. These men are going to have a good time with the General's Bodyguard. There they go. The staff are being murdered. Horses shot from underneath them. So we're going to have a... Oh. You just run away from the pikemen. Let them just be uh, fodder. Everyone else just... Push. You gun down the Fusiliers. The general could probably have done some good work against those guys if I was actually on the ball, but I was not. There we go. So pouring fire into the last of the Swiss pikes as they charge through merrily with their plate armour. But it was not to be. Got oh, my crossiers. They can't. I can't catch a break. Get my lights to come help them out. So, my light cavalry may actually be able to chase their, uh, chase their, uh, general down, but actually there's no, there's not really a, a point. Let's take the win while we sure we get another turn's worth of replenishment under our belt. There we go. We lost 200 men. They lost one half thousand. That's the sort of ratios you want to see. So you chaps replenish. Forward. Sit inside Dublin and Dublin, to be honest. Churn out two more infantry. Like we said, because we've lost a few of our key trade partners, we've actually got quite a big hole in our budget so let's try and see if we can trade with France once more sadly not because you're now at war with pretty much everyone um, so much so well it will always be worthwhile to try and maintain some friendly relations with major powers considering we're now at war with a whole lot of people So you really need to start getting the Orleans to grow. So that they can develop a new port. So no recruiting from New Orleans. New Orleans, and we know that this whole recruitment dis um, disbandment doesn't really work. But I think everyone that can be spared to go that direction over into Europe has been spared. So, let's hit end turn. Ooh. Being attacked from Owen Batson. A lot of infantry there. Let's try and get away. Oh. 
So thankfully, my hope that by retreating I may actually problems. No, there we go. Good. Is that so taking Copenhagen. Well, I'm going to take my jumper off because I am a roast. Someone else. But I suppose they have taken absolute pounding from the Spanish. To be honest, it may even be uh, useful to begin attacking the Spanish to give the Austrians a bit of a leg up. Because we know that Austria is Spain. So maybe... So you didn't want to get involved in the European war, but Austria, our ally and significant trading partner, has just got absolutely smashed. And it looks like the Ottomans want to send some ships westward in an attempt to try and interfere with my trade. The Mughals keep growing their army in Trinidad and Tobago. They are more than welcome to do so. 16,000, okay. So this army, Sir. still depleted, but it has scope to go after Edinburgh. But here we go. Cavalry coming over the horizon. So you men, see if you can sail straight into Portsmouth. Sadly not, but London is unguarded. Oh, oh, you silly billies. You've left a port open. So you, good sirs, they will bring in a, that reinforcing army with a Swiss line that has two men in it. Okay, that's gonna definitely going to be the one we fight next. I just want to get these guys. You're probably going to sail around the north because these guys will challenge you because they've got some good ships. There's another. Oh, there's. Oh, yeah. This is this navy. Get them to sail around from the north. Disembark Theodore, the terror of the Americas, scourge of the French. He's in for re for um, for support. This chap that's en route to India is going to secure the port at Ceylon first. Although that's definitely an auto resolve. Oh, this this is going to take some uh, some work. Okay, let's get basic roads, get the tea plantation going, get the gem mine going, get the farm going. Let's get economy buildings before military buildings going here. Good stuff. New port emerges. Puerto Cabello, New Andalusia. So you can get a trade port and also build a native musketman unit to garrison said port. So lots of military construction. You're still en route to New Orleans. Now we've moved all our ships over. Public servant dies. Our head of government could be a lot better. Plus one treasury, plus one management. Minus one lower classes, which isn't good. Okay, I'm tempted to bring this guy in. Although, to be honest, I have heard we do know that the trick to the trick to use is being a being a uh, absolute monarchy. Is you bring all your rubbish candidates in at once, and then you go. Eh. So next time you get a whole new set of candidates, because I will want a better Europe minister. Than what I currently have. Okay, I'm back up to 20,000 because trade in some areas has eased. And again, Ottomans. Peace and trade. To be honest, I may even try and do peace and trade with the Mughals. You want islands? No. What if I just give you the same deal again? No. <laughs> Fleet's still growing. Hop back over to Europe. Unfortunately, Britain won't actually die because they do own Courland. So this will be a insurrection. Uh, more so than you would think. And that means that 
Securing. God, that's a lot of vo volunteer Irish. Okay, so let's pick you guys and let's start to merge some of these men together. Uh, you could probably go there. Just keep combining. Ideally try to combine with the smallest like delta and chevrons possible. But sometimes you just can't. You can't help that. Okay, good. So now we've got two new fresh units recruited. Ready to help out. And I may even get some... Let's get some Regiment Etranger. Well, to be honest, it's only worth recruiting one, or one, one round. Yeah, but sadly you can't be used at the moment. Yeah, we've taken Ceylon. They don't like us a lot, but to be honest... This region may be the first to start the conversion. Create, build a church school, start converting the population, then start to work your way up their coast. So you can spend a turn of punishing. Sure. You guys can probably go up here. Throw. Don't lay siege to Scotland. Oh. I want another turn to replenish. And I also want to knock out London. Hey, Although I may use... Well, no, actually. This guy's the guy to use because he has more howitzers. He has a lot of artillery. Maybe too much artillery. But let's do this. Let's take him out. Let's secure versity. We're going to replace it with... Be ready, A, to re repel, destroy the rest of the British armies um, in the region. Yeah, we just have to keep on attacking because court they will exist and they will harry us. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't want to deploy over there because that's where their reinforcements will come. So we'll go over here. To be honest, let's put a breaching battery here. A breaching battery here. How it says there's no really any good place to put them. Actually, we may even focus on one side. Because you can knock down this section of the wall here, and you can also destroy this bastion to get another way in. That'll probably be the better thing to do. So then we'll have four going straight in. Or looking to go straight in. Five looking to take a slightly more indirect route. Probably backed up with the cavalry. Well, the cuirassier doesn't don't look like. Can they hide? Doesn't look like they can. I suppose they are glinting with armor. Okie dokie. Let's do this. Um, how does open fire on whatever targets they want? It's the artillery batteries I want to focus first. It's alright, so you focus on that section of the wall. The others focus on the bastion. As we get all of the lag spikes, but damn, three units of howitzers does a lot of damage. Not lag spikes, but sound bugs. Yeah, three howitzers knocked out that infantry unit. And the AI's, uh, the AI's frustration at, well not frustration, the AI's characteristic of never retreating units from, uh, retreating units from the, uh, the battlefield will make these reinforcements a bit less useful, especially when they're reinforcements like this. So the Swiss Line Company is formed of their company commander, the drummer, and their standard bearer. So we deliberately want to start focusing on other targets so that our artillery doesn't doesn't um actually wait are these guys even just so we don't make these guys round we want these guys to stick around Let's 
speed up time a little bit because there we go that the bastion's starting to be destroyed and you can see how the uh, one of my artillery teams is bugged because they weren't this guy is almost destroyed and the war section of the wall is still uh, alive and kicking so let's just allow the howitzers to do their glorious work we've almost got a way in here even when it's destroyed you can't destroy this walkway it's far enough back it's far enough back from oh, still, still getting men dying from the explosive shot but yeah it's set far way back that if this is destroyed they can still leave the walls and it's the same here it's actually too far this way to be destroyed in that manner so these that guns actually firing at us there we go so that's one of the ways in we're also going to focus on that breach as well this unit You focus on that infantry unit. What do you round shot? You can. Okay, let's set one of them to start bombarding the uh, the centre. To be honest, both of you can go after the seventh because that's quite a nice position. It's quite a nice unit orientation to hit with these shells. So the field artillery is firing again. So this is one of the units they brought in to reinforce, which is unfortunate because they're actually quite a good unit. You know grenadiers, but they're fresh grenadiers with no experience. So let's keep firing at the section of the wall. Are you actually firing? Nope. I don't really know why the AI does this. I'm starting to get that frame rate problem again. That's stuttering. And again, I don't know why. So the artillery's firing again. Marker shot's gone in. Near hit on the 7th Regiment. But when they've made a breach, that's when things will really start to happen. Because they will... We'll make the breach and they will start to garrison to uh, to hold it, which will be provide lots of lovely, lovely targets for our quick climbing. Okay, now I might actually retarget this chap to actually do something like shoot at, probably shoot at them as well. Oh, there we go, 140 down to 64 men. So the wall is destroyed. Let's start giving our guys targets. Let's start to uh, start to create mischief. So my field artillery no longer has a target. But I'm curious if they can lob their shells over. Also, they're all about to reload anyway, so that might not be a concern. Just keep the howitzers trying to uh, light up the enemy, especially if the grenadiers are going to start coming out of the fort towards us. Yeah, so even though these guys have the firing order, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to fire. So you may as well work on that section there. You guys keep lobbing shells into the breach itself. So these guys will prevent these men up here from doing their jobs. 
And if we lob shells into the breach, we might actually kill some of these armed citizenry. There we go, and the howitzers are starting. And we know how fruitless it is to... Uh, and stop them so these men are actually going to run even though they're all running over there allegedly which is exactly definitely not where I told them to go but whatever so what I want is to get these men to attack this section of the wall this section of the gate so my cavalry can pour in and do lots of terrible things to them from behind the lines does mean that a lot of our it does mean that our troops here are going to be exposed to artillery fire for a lot longer than we would like but this is why we have two armies and also why I was kind of hoping to have two uh, so I was kind of hoping to have two two breaches really rather than rather than what I've got. And I was kind of hoping that the artillery would spread their fire out. It probably won't be too long until we uh, end up almost exclusively attacking... Well, I think it might be good, really, to set one of these guys to round shot and to start bombarding or trying to do some counter-battery work. There we go. They don't have many men on these walls, but damn, it's enough. Anyone that doesn't have a specific job is going to run here. So it's in an attempt to uh, secure the gatehouse so we can pour in. God damn, these Swiss line infantry are ballsy lot. Even better, they're actually managing to uh, survive. There we go, these guys are starting to uh, esca uh, climb the walls. Yeah, understandable, they've got some uh, morale concerns about that. But the idea here is to not really give their forces around the breach any reason to try and escape. So they've they've routed but they'll come back. I just want these fellows on the walls. Yeah, lots of area of effect weapon damage, which isn't good, obviously. You guys can try and climb this section of the wall in their place. Yeah, there they go. These armed citizens are going to try and charge, charge us through the breach, but that won't work. A, because we're probably going to capture it, and B, that's kind of what we want to do anyway. There we go. To be honest, I may, if I, even though I'm just right-clicking my cavalry into the center they may just run through the breach anyway and if they do that itself isn't a problem what's more likely to be a problem is well not a problem just send guys to uh... wait a minute did you guys no it's, the... it's, a... it's a general's bodyguard So keep attacking the general. This regiment of foot is inside the walls, so you guys run over here as a blocker. Light cavalry swarm the mortars. Yeah, so these guys go here to block the armed citizenry. 
if they attempt to prevent us from storming the breach. General's been killed. Let's switch all our artillery fire to... I'm ready to round shot and start bombarding this big block of infantry over on the right flank. Swarm the general in the centre with cavalry. Get our colonial infantry in to start to provide cover. I mean, it's annoying we've got this sound bug again, but whatever. File our calm citizenries involved. Let's get my infantry in. There we go. I think they're on to us. Charge the militia, because that's what they're going to do to you, chaps. Send one unit into the breach here. Send one unit into the breach through there. Charge my colonial light into this militia unit. You guys hit that armed citizenry. You guys continue to attack the grenadiers. Let's get some more cavalry infantry over on the right. The light dragoons are getting involved. Or attempting to. You're fighting through the breaches as well. Keep attacking the grenadiers. So here are the reinforcements starting to come in. New men form line and attempt to do as much damage as possible there. You fellows get over here to try and block any reinforcements coming through that gate. You guys try and run over and secure the gate. These men up on the wall here can finish off the infantry attacking through the centre. Cavalry have broken. You guys face up against that unit while this light horse focuses on the garrison line. No, these guys can't move because the 24th there is still holding on. Charge through the gates. Come on, you guys. You need to face the 22nd and engage them. Except, sadly, you guys aren't. Hey, we've got sound. Kill the 7th. You guys kill the 1st. They're definitely going to die. Drop some... Okay, the 26th may be about to rout. Although my cavalry is routed, so I suspect they will not be long for this world. But this is why we have multiple armies involved. So these chaps can get as many kills as they humanly can. Prior to uh, eventually falling, just out of sheer numbers. Yeah, 
uh, you take position up on this section of the wall and fire in both directions. Don't like the way those Light Dragoons are manoeuvring. Theodore's coming in from a not very helpful angle. To be honest, you guys may as well keep lobbing shells into the centre. Bring the light cavalry over to provide cover for my artillery. So these men from up here should be able to do quite a lot of damage. Let's see if it can... Uh, Embrace them to give chase. That will be the question. So you keep attacking the 3rd Regiment. You guys attack the block of men coming out from the centre. Actually, you can all do that. You all attack the centre. So, uh... Come on, you men, garrison the walls and fire. Don't... Don't give up your position. There we go, as they're all clustered together. So they're bringing in some reinforcements. Oh, they've got a bunch of marines with volley guns. We've got artillery back there that will be rather useful. Rather useless, sorry. Horse artillery, you can rout. You are not needed. The light cavalry run straight at the dragoons. Uh, the light, the heavy cavalry march towards the hussars that are marching out and the militia. You guys keep engaging the armed citizenry. Sadly, these men aren't actually firing at anything. So let's turn fire wall off and then back on again. There we go. There we go. Get my heavy cavalry to hit the SARS. Foot artillery can route. First regiment, march them over to the battle line. Too bad you guys aren't actually shooting, you should be able to fire at the armed citizenry, but maybe it's a range problem. So once this guy's in position here. You guys should. No, oh, they're just going to keep running around. Field artillery hold fire. They no longer serve a purpose. Maybe better off getting into position a bit close to home. I actually, don't rush my cavalry in. March them over here, see if we can lure them out. So in terms of priority targets... Get one of you to start dropping round shot into the centre. The others can keep firing uh, 
park a shot into the big blocks of men. Or, to be honest, it, the smart move might be to actually focus all fire back. Well, you can't really reach, so it doesn't even matter with you. Focus it all on the proper infantry coming in. Ooh, especially pikemen. So let's get ready. I want to do more focused firing onto the Swiss Pikes than any of the uh, any other uh, actual unit, I think. Are they within? No. I can limber them up to do so. These men can get over here. Probably run them and then stop them. Afterwards, who else is now coming in? Grenadiers, line infantry. Okay. Limber up the howitzers. You guys put a hole in that wall. Let's move my howitzers closer so more of the more of their men are within range of carcass shot. These guys put another hole in the breach to try and spread their effort out a bit further. To be honest, let's get this general out of here. Bring Theodore can man the business end of the battle. If I bring the howitzers up, more of the targets form within carcass shot range, including some of these units to the rear. More cavalry, which is, is it is cavalry is useful in these fights, especially when we still control that gate. Got to bear that in mind. To be honest, it might be wise to limber up some of these guns and pull them back because they're not critical. Neither is this artillery coming in. It's not a sort. It's not a shortage of uh, bodies I have. It's a shortage of. Well, it's not a shortage of guns. I mean, sorry, it's a shortage of bodies. Okay, that will probably do. Well, it will do. Oh, I'm citizenry, oh, I'm citizenry. It's unfortunate these guys are taking the world's longest time to route, but only when it's only when the first one touches the actual edge of the map that it matters. Let's bring you chaps over. These men can get into position. So, carcass shots. Start targeting the most complete units on the field, particularly if they are frontline caliber. 33rd foot are marching towards the gate, which I don't think they're going to do what... They're not going to do what we would hope they would do. But let's put some men here in case we can tempt them to march out. There we go. what we would like is for them to engage. 
Yeah, you guys have packed up. Let's get you back, all grenadiers. Yes. They might be charging out. Well, not charging out, but, you know. Well, they are. Bring my infantry over. It looks like some of their men want to come out and play. If you guys run into position, you can get some good volleys into the Royal Marines prior to them actually getting within their effective range. So after they fired all their musketry, cavalry in, you guys hold fire. 33rd foot has been routed, hopefully shattered, but it looks like they might be uh, attempting a breakout. So here come how it's a shot, close range. Oh man, that's thinned them out. Jesus. Okay, retarget. Fire at targets inside the capital. Slice up the Royal Marines. Get my cavalry out. Okay, let's pick up my cavalry and light cavalry. Position them out on the flank to be ready. I think they're going to try it again. Which doesn't entirely make sense, but there we are. Clone your light. Clone your light and my heavy cavalry, smash the 23rd. In comes more. Yeah, they're getting another unit of reinforcements. But I have faith. They're marching out again. Shattered. Get my line infantry to engulf the militia. If the grenadiers have been routed, the 13th have been routed, your reinforcements are spent. So I want to get my native warrior auxiliary to get into the breach first. killed in the centre. This breach has almost been made so this detachment is ready to push in on the left. Lots of routing British flags. You guys should not be shooting because you're just shooting men of the 48th. run these regiments over here. So they can also be ready to storm in through that breach that's developing.
So the first army got <laughs> will have got absolutely smashed. He will. They will be. They'll be done. God, that 14th just got absolutely annihilated as well. But yeah, this is why sometimes you want another army. Especially when you get a unit like the Grenadiers that want to route through you. Eight more percent. Then it's a go. Five, five six. So close. Go, go, go. I'm charging in when they're charging out. Kind of poetic, huh? There you go, you guys smash into the 26th. So the Grenadiers want to fight the militia. You guys halt fire as my... Native warriors counter charge. You guys scale the wall by the gates, or you'll probably not get there in time. There you go. You guys get up into position. No, you guys carry on doing what you were doing. Native warriors and you guys get inside the fort. You guys attack the armed citizenry, you guys attack that garrison unit. These guys shoot up anyone they want. Fire into the 14th. themselves to fend off just the grenadiers no it's just the regiment of foot just hold fire with the artillery in general native war auxiliary charge the militia in the rear Bayonet charge the 14th. This is where we're at. <laughs> Run this unit of cavalry through to charge the uh, general's bodyguard in the rear. Do have a small unit of garrison guards to fight us, but I doubt they're going to be that much of a concern. for putting up a strong fight, but it will not work. 14th, they're also putting up a valiant defence. They have fought gallantly, but we have superior men, material and firepower to bring them down. Although one of my light cavalry units is upset. charge some infantry over to support it's 
support my beleaguered cavalry, because they're only light cavalry after all. Curiosier engaged, engaged with the guards. There they go. The guard of London has fallen, finally, at great cost to Louisiana life, I might add. But it is a victory, nonetheless, that's unintentionally drawn this episode into an hour. <laughs> but that was pretty damn fun. So we lost 2,200 men, but they lost almost everyone they had. The f this first army is shattered. The siege is lifted. Yes. So you guys can garrison the town. And I probably want to repair the military academy. More than anything else. Destroy the modern universe. Oh no, actually we need that. Because we, we've captured someone else's so we can research the text. Okay, so that, this is going to be a real struggle. Sir. Because the normal reaction is to uh, destroy the university Forward. to prevent or to remove the uh, unhappiness. Right? But we've captured a modern university intact, which is very valuable. But I think we've broken the majority of their major forces in the area. Like, there's a couple of these guys that might cause some trouble, but... I think we're going to be okay. Public servant dies. Yeah, we already know about that. We captured Ceylon. And obviously, we captured England, who is being taxed. We could, un we could not tax them. That will reduce the uh, resistance to foreign occupation a lot. Trying to keep. Uh, trouble is. So if I hop over to the Americas. Actually, wait, have I got any religious schools over here at all? Probably not, because there is a religious religious happiness bonus here. And I think because I'm now a Catholic power and I own a Protestant power, I get religious unrest rather than religious happiness because of a. Well, the existence of a college of divinity doesn't. See, this plus four happiness for Protestant population, but I don't get any actual benefits of that entertainment and culture comes from other buildings but yeah you guys need to replenish and replenish yes, hard sir. theodore is going to take up a position on the bridge to try and lure any back any any troops coming in from the the west obviously we do have an army here we have an embarked force to the north we also have another army over here so this isn't done, not by a long shot. We still have this force over here in Edinburgh. Who will need to go on the offensive and knock out Melvin Cribb and the remains of these stragglers. Um, but looking at the episode, I think I'm um, looking at the timer. I think I'm going to call that the end of the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for more um, struggles on the British Isles. Cheers, everyone.